Today we're learning how to make this nice, beautiful opening slide in PowerPoint, including the transition to the next slides. The tutorial consists of four steps, adding a picture to custom shapes, adding content, customizing the colors and animating the slides. Let's start with the first one, which is pictures and how to cut them out of a shape. This is the effect that we want to generate and on the right side, the cutout effect, that's what we want. Let's start from a blank slide and add a picture. And you can always turn on this designer tab that will help you in cropping the images or give some slight ideas. Next, we want to add a rounded rectangle on top of the image. So round the rectangle and increase the roundness of the corners all the way to the maximum. Remove the outlines and make it white. We want to rotate it to about 45 degrees and then drag it to the corner. We can extend the size a little bit and then position them on top, top right corner of the slide. We can control shift drag to create a duplicate. And now we want to increase the size a little bit. We want to make different shapes and different sizes of these rounded rectangles. You can grab them by the corner and extend or pull them back depending on what you want. Do that a few more times so you have different rounded rectangles across the slide and covering the part of the image where we want to cut out the shape. Maybe one more on the top left. And they don't all have to connect. You can also add some circles or other shapes in between. Let's position them right. And let's maybe add an extended part. So grab the top left and reduce the size so it's a little bit smaller. Make sure it's about the same size and then position it in front. And maybe add a circle in the spot on the bottom right. There's an open gap and that will fill in nicely. And that will create a very nice effect. Let's select all the shapes, hold control and click to select multiple objects, group them together. And now you can scale them up or down and position them on the slide. This looks about fine. So it covers a good half of the slide. Right click and ungroup again. Next, we want to go to the shape format tab and union. And this has created one large shape. Duplicate the slide and then control C the picture. Go to the first slide, select the shape that we've created, select the picture, shape format and intersect. And now you can't see anything, but if we fill the color, you can see we've created an outline of that shape and it perfectly fits the slide. Let's grab the picture in the back. So right click, copy, copy the image and then right click on the shape that we've created and picture fill or texture fill. Rotate with shape. We want to uncheck that and then it keeps the right proportion. You can always do copy from clipboard if the picture didn't paste automatically. Right click format background and we're going to add a gradient effect on it. Select the right one and let's go for a dark gray to a little bit a lighter gray. That gives us a cool transition on the slide. Now we want to select the image and we want to give a little bit of a drop shadow. So right click format picture, go to the shadow tab, presets, and we're going for an inner shadow. And if we select that, we can see it gives us a little bit of a drop down shadow from the inner side. Play around with this transparency and the blur a little bit until you're happy with the result. And this gives the effect that there's some sort of a cutout paper laying on top of the picture. And that's what we want to achieve. Let's go to step number two, which is adding the content and how you can add custom content. We're going to add a text box and type in a title, for example, magical Scotland with a beautiful picture of Scotland. For the font, we're going to use Avenir Next and we're going for a heavy font. Maybe bold, that will be better. Yeah, bold is good. Increase the font size, make it white. And position it on the slide. Around in the middle, that's balanced. Add another text box. And let's go for a subtitle. 
this could be anything. We're going to use some dummy text here. Uppercase, Avenue Next. And let's make this yellow as a nice contrast color on the dark background that we have. Add another text box with some dummy text. Reduce the font size a little bit and maybe make it a light, ultra light. That way it's a little bit more subtle compared to the title and the subtitle. Position them until you're happy. And let's add an icon, insert icon, because the top left feels a little bit empty. Let's go for a travel icon. This could be your company logo or anything else that you want. Increase the size a little bit and let's make it white. Position it on the top left. Now that's a little bit too harsh, so right click, format graphic, and then the transparency, we increase it to about 75. And that way it's a little bit more subtle on the background. It's still visible, but it doesn't get all the attention. The magical Scotland is where we want to put the emphasis on. Let's go to step number three, which is customizing and how you can change the colors if you don't want a dark background. So duplicate the slide and we'll create some variants. Right click, format shape, and now we're going to change the colors. Let's make a white version. So from light gray to a little bit darker gray, still light, and then change the text colors to gray. Shape fill, we do the same, and you can instantly change the complete look and feel of your slide to match your brand colors. Play around with the transparency a little bit until it matches. Let's create another version, maybe right click, format background, and let's go for a totally different color, a blue, bluish gray color that will look nice. This is also a pretty cool impression. Another alternative is that you go for a totally different gradient where you match a purple with a pinkish color and also that can have a cool effect. For that, I would recommend to go to the picture, select the picture and make it black and white. This way it's more neutral and the colors are more balanced. You can create a red version or any other color that you want. You can really choose. And that brings us to step number four is how we can animate and make the transitions to the next slide. For that, let's create a duplicate of a slide. And here we want to drag the components and we want to drag them outside of the screen. Position them a little bit further away from each other. That way, if we apply the morph transition, the morph effect, they will fly in at different speeds. For the picture, you can reduce the size and position it on the top right corner. Let's add a circle shape, no outline, and make it white. And control alt drag, control drag to create some versions and copies. Let's add some text underneath. This could be any text that you want. We'll add lorem ipsum text, some demi text. Make it yellow, so there's the same contrast or the same accent color on both slides. And center it in the middle. Copy it, control shift drag to the other circles. And now let's create a text box, a title on top, for example, chapter one. And also some dummy text at the bottom. Make sure if you copy some text, uh, in this case, that you make sure it's different text if you apply the morph transition to, so that it works properly. Let's select three icons that are travel related. Shape fill and go for the same gray color as background and then position them in the middle of your circles. Now we want to zoom out a little bit. And if we're happy with the slides, we want to select all of the content. And we want to paste that on the first slide and we want to drag that down. And also here we want to create different fly in speeds. So we select the first one, drag it down a little bit, select the, the second circle, drag that down even more and the third one we drag it all the way to the bottom. That way they fly in at different speeds. And now we go to transitions and morph. And there we have a pretty cool effect. You could see some of them were overlapping with the morph transition. What we do for that is we scroll out even more and we position the text a little bit further. So it takes longer for the 
objects or the text to fly in. And this looks a lot better already. Let's preview. And now you know how to make this nice opening slide in PowerPoint, which is very dynamic. And here's a little recap. We learned how to crop the pictures from a shape. We learned how to add content, customize the slides to different colors, and how to animate to the next slide. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to check the video which is on the screen right now.